Okay, I will continue to the next slide. <clears throat> so, this is one of the example or one of the template uh, used for writing a problem statement, which uh, for this template is required four parts, which is uh, start with the general problem, identif identifying the need for the study. Okay, then number two is the state. You have to state the specific problem proposed for research, which you need uh, to use citation and usually a number to make it clear to the reader. Okay, the statistics or the numbers and make sure that this one is cited or quoted in the paragraph. So third part is the introductory words describing methodological approach. Either you use the qualitative, quantitative or mixed method. And this must be appropriate to the specific proposal problem. Okay, uh, for example, this qualitative or this quantitative study will explore or will examine. Okay, and then the last part, which is the general population group. Are you using uh, which group of population that you use for your research study? Address workers, okay, uh, doctors, okay, teenagers, okay, some group of people, locality, which locality that you use, which is small, for example, small scale farmers in selected or in affected locations will be surveyed to determine. So this is one of the example for uh, research on the small scale farmers. Okay, as I mentioned, okay, some of you doing the quantitative and some of you doing qualitative and maybe a few or uh, most of you use mixed method, which is qualitative, both qualitative and quantitative. Okay, so this is the just a basic um, guidelines okay, uh, for your research problem when you use quantitative or qualitative research. Okay, the first one, use quantitative research if your research problem requires you to measure variables. Okay, variables that you have determined, variables that you have finalized. Sometimes you use the uh, to determine the factors, okay, determine the relationship. Okay, or else you assess the impact of these variables on an outcome. Okay, test theories or broad explanations and also apply results to a large number of people. Okay, usually quantitative research uh, need more, uh, need a large number of observations. Okay, so that's why this is the requirement for the quantitative research study. So if you use qualitative research, uh, if your research problem requires you to learn about the views of the people you plan to study, okay, assess a process over time, okay, and then generate theories based on participant perspectives, basically when you uh, do or you conduct a focus group discussion, or obtain detailed information about a few people or research sites, which is require a small number of sample size. Okay, next, this is a qualitative problem statement. Okay, as given in the uh, template here. Okay, which is start with the problem identifying, which is the general problem, then followed by the specific problem. Then it goes with the methodological approach, and also they have the general population group and the local locality or the general location. Okay, for this qualitative problem statement, uh, as the first one, which is the general problem, is the brain drain in Kenya is increasing. So this is the general problem, and it followed by a statement which is supported the problem. Okay, then the specific problem uh, is every year about 50 professionals migrate abroad due to unsatisfactory working conditions. Okay, so this brain drain is different from previous shortages because it involves not only fresh graduates but also seasoned professionals. So basically in problem statement, your statements must be cited or quoted because it depends or it was found, mostly is found, mostly was found from previous literature. So this crisis in the professionals industry requires innovative solutions. Okay, so this will be the problem. Okay, the uh, elaboration or explanation why you study this problem uh, why you study uh, this problem okay one innovative solution may be a less structured leadership style such as steward leadership 
So next is the description of study and also the methodological approach. So this study uh, employed qualitative case study okay, which will explore perceptions of professionals in, in Kenya which is the population group pop, uh, population group is the professionals in Kenya okay, about steward leadership as a strategy to elevate or reduce factors contributing to the brain drain among professionals okay so the region they use uh, those professionals in the lake basin region so this will be the geographical location of the study so meaning as i mentioned before your problem statement is the is a summary of your chapters if, of your ch next chapter okay chapter three four and five okay basically chapter three you will summarize in one paragraph chapter four in one paragraph chapter five in par one paragraph okay so this study also used the data to get it uh, which is i think they used the questionnaire okay or else uh, they may um, have the focus group discussion then uh, they will note all the discussion all the discussion given okay, by the respondents okay so this is a quantitative statement of the problem so this is an american example okay so the general problem is the identity fraud which is the fastest growing crimes in america so this will be the broad topic okay by this research and make sure that all your make sure that the statements given in the problem statement is supported by previous literature okay so as you can see here there are a lot of citations and statement that quoted um, by the author okay so first it is a general problem then it followed by the specific problem with citation as well to strengthen uh, the problem uh, the general problem and the specific problem so and next the methodological approach here okay we can see the highlighted here is this is a quantitative type of study okay this is a quantitative research study okay which the group population is the students okay faculty administrative personnel personnel and employees of two community colleges and the geographical location is at county california okay Okay, so this is the example of the flow of ideas in the problem statement so this is the flow you can either you can follow or it's up to you okay so first yes we decide our topic based on our research areas or our niche areas okay subject area here so the research problem is the concern arise or issue arise from the from your subject area or else we can call it as a problem and then something that needs a solution Okay, remember your research must be soft okay must be solvable so something that needs a solution okay you uh, you provide or you have an idea uh, of the problem uh, so you also uh, have to come with the solutions okay so justification for research pro problem how to justify and how to identify is from the literature again and from practical experience or personal experience and all the sources of research problem okay deficiencies or gap what is missing or what do we need to know more about actually what your study uh, want to fill in meaning the gaps of knowledge okay or the gap in the existing theory what is lack what the added value that you want to put in in the existing theory or knowledge okay so relating the discussion to audience how this uh, basically the significance of your study okay how did how your study will impact society the population okay the uh, group population that you study in those certain locality okay the policy makers and other individuals Okay, so next slide is how to write the statement problem so again uh, this is just um, a guideline okay however you still can search uh, another examples uh, or you can just type in in google so there's a lot of example uh, of statement problem that you can uh, learn you can follow okay so this might be one of it Okay, so it's up to you and you can talk to your supervisors 
Okay, once um, you start to draft uh, your statement, your problem statement. Okay, the problem statement implies some question that you research will be answering. Sometimes it is necessary to draft and pre-write for a while to discover what that point will be. Okay, when you set up to write a statement problem, you should know that you are looking for something wrong. Okay, something wrong or something that needs close attention. So, it is not just your topic but what you are saying about your topic. In other words, there must be a very good communication between your topic and the problem statement. Okay, and then the important here is should receive considerable and persuasive attention. Meaning the importance here is the inevitably subjective and will vary from researcher to researcher. Again, it depends on your <coughs> field of research and also your research areas. Okay, the objectivity can be injected by answering questions such as this. So, this can be the guidelines, okay, uh, to be part of your statement problem. Okay, is the problem of current interest, is it topical? Again, the criteria or... Okay, the consideration that you have uh, to put in selecting your research problem... One of it is current, which is must be based on the current problems. So, either your research problem or your research question is a current interest. Okay, so is the problem likely to continue into the future? Is there any, just like, is there any uh, suggestion, recommendation or any steps uh, have been done uh, which suggested by previous literature? If not, what it what uh, the next or what the further research needs to make sure that all the suggestions have been implemented okay so will more information about the problem have practical or theoretical application how large is the population affected by the problem okay so this is based on the either you look at the population or else you look at the policy formulation and so on so, how important, influential or popular is this population? Would this study substantially revise or extend existing knowledge or existing theories or existing conceptual model? Okay. Would this study create or improve an instrument of some utility? Okay. So, would research findings lead to some useful change in best practice? Or is there evidence of authoritative opinion from others to support the need for this research? So, you can put all these questions as a consideration for you to finalize or for you to refine your statement problem okay so again here as i men have mentioned in part one okay the problem statement could close with a question yeah basically usually the student write the problem statement and at the end they will list all the research questions which will be answered in the next chapters so typically the question could contain two variables which is a major relationship and some indication of population okay so for example here what is the relationship uh, for example is the research question here is what is the relationship between farm productivity and farmer use of fertilizer so the information needed here so the variables are productivity levels and some measure of fertilizer use okay so the this close relationship between the title of the proposal and the problem step question uh, should be accounted for uh, in uh, relating your problem uh, your problem statement and also the title of the uh, thesis okay so from the question above so the title would be something like fertilizer used by small scale farmers in Bungoma district and your farm, your farm productivity. As in previous slides, I have mentioned that your title can be borne out once your problem statement has been done. So do not uh, waste too much time in thinking the title. Okay, the title can change uh, even though during Viva. Okay. For the formulation of research problem, it is preferable it fulfills the following features, which is clearly 
precisely articulated. Okay, and then clearly states the variables used, the population group, and research setting under study. Also, variables are expressed in measurable terms, and the type of study also may be included in the statement of research problem. Okay, type of study, either you use qualitative, quantitative, or both. Okay, so this uh, is the these are the examples, uh, the research gap statement that you can use. Okay, in your uh, problem statement, in in drafting your problem statement. Okay, for example, here little attention has been given to, so my research is going to aid in. Okay, past studies appear to have been restricted or limited to, so your study will be will aid. A few okay and blah 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 okay although or in spite of it is known yet unclear okay sometimes so it, uh, the previous study was unclear about something so your research will make it more clear with your own uh, methodology okay so past studies have overlooked or neglected to consider so your study will complete it so uh, this it, this what these are the examples that you can use as a research group signals so the with this sentence or with these words evaluator assessors they will know okay so your thesis is your risk this is research gap is this like this like that okay so this is just for example so either you can either you want to use it it depends Okay, so uh, the next is next slide is the steps involved in formulating research problem. Okay, basically this is similar to the question, the three questions asked in the previous um, slide. Okay, let me show you here. If you really still remember the uh, question that you can post uh, before you write your problem statement. Okay, which is here okay to get an idea uh, for writing your problem statement okay the three questions that you can consider is what should be occurring okay what is occurring or what is currently occurring and then the third question is what could happen if the problem is not addressed okay so these three question may help you indicating or refining your problem statement okay so uh, this is quite similar to the questions okay what should be occurring meaning construct statement one by describing a goal okay uh, what what do you want to see or what you hope so uh, from your topic or your broad or your specific topic that you want to re to study Okay, so construct statement one by describing a goal of a given situation, phenomenon, for and etc. So this will build the ideal situation. Okay, what should be, what is expected, what, what, what is uh, your desired it to be. Okay, so step two, what is occurring currently? Okay, so describe a condition that prevents the goal, state or value discussed in step one from being achieved or realized at the present time. So this will build the reality, the situation as it is and establish a gap between what ought to be and what it is. So indicate citations in all the relevant places. Okay, so step one, what should be occurring? Step two, what is occurring? What is reality? What is occurring in reality? Okay, so step two and step three actually is can be combined. Okay, uh, this is what you uh, we can find your research gaps in here. Okay, by using the word but, however, unfortunately, or in spite of, which is the examples of the research signals. Okay, so step four, what happened if the problem is not addressed? So using specific details show how the situation in step 2 contains little promise or of improvement unless something is done then emphasize the benefits of research by projecting the consequences and possible solutions as well. Okay, so basically to do this you can draft your research problem statement. Okay, again you can modify it throughout your PhD journey or throughout your master's research journey. So leave it for some time and then come back to it. Okay, review it with a fresh eye and tighten the wording.
Okay, sometimes you need to raise. Okay, uh, to look again another materials or another uh, information. Okay, and then yeah, you still can modify it uh, time to time. So, however, you need to review research problem statement with your TC supervisor. Okay, don't work alone too long. Okay, you need someone to help you or to supervise you to make sure that you are in your track. Okay, he may be help you to further on the statement. Okay, so uh, please always or frequently see your supervisor, talk to him or her and then ask for help or ask for guidance. They are willingly to help you if you ask so. Okay, using this step 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the example of the topic MSEs and Industrial Development of Nigeria. Okay, so remember the step 1 which is what is what should be occurring. So the government of Nigeria has a goal to industrialize by the year 2020. So this one you have to cite it. Okay, so in this regard, it has encouraged growth-oriented MSEs that should graduate into medium and large enterprises capable of contributing to the industrialization goal. So there are several policies. Either you can uh, cite or quote, and then or else you can just list out all the several all the policies. Okay, so that contains specific measures to encourage and support MSEs. So this is the general problem actually. Okay, or else the what should be occurring? What does the researcher uh, or what does this uh, MSEs and this industrial development of Nigeria uh, looking forward to? Okay, so step two and three. Uh, basically, this is to answer the question of what is occurring in reality. Okay, so despite the said government efforts, there is low growth of micro into small enterprises and even slower growth of small into medium scale enterprises. So this would, this would be okay, your problem, research problem. So quote and then show statistics. statistics. Yes, you also need to show statistics wherever applicable or required. Okay, so the government has officially acknowledged that there exists a missing middle entrepreneurs in Nigeria, meaning that there is a gap between small and large enterprises in the country. Okay, so step four, which is uh, what happened if the problem is not addressed? Okay, so, so step four, should the missing middle entrepreneurs gap persist, then the industrialization goal may be difficult to achieve. Okay, so need therefore arises to investigate why despite government efforts, there is a persistent middle, missing middle entrepreneurs. Okay, so from here you can create or you can have your research question as well and then that will be your research objective. Okay, next also is the example. Okay, where you start with the research problem, then from the research problem, you can have your objectives and then you can have your research questions or the hypothesis basically for those doing quantitative research study. Okay, so data collection instrument processes it depending on your research study design. Okay, so for example here, why is childhood obesity so prevalent among X ethnic group in region Y? So basically, this research, uh, the author is already new. Okay, the research problem that he or she gonna do, gonna study. Okay, so from this kind of example of the research problem, he or she can create the objective. Okay, from this one, uh, the author have two objectives, which is one is to explore the cultural dimensions of eating patterns among ethnic group X in region Y, and then to measure the relationship between childhood obesity and the three factors in ethnic group X. Okay, so all of this can be done okay, once you have finished your uh, literature review. Okay, then you can see the gaps and then from there you can have your uh, research problem, then you have your objectives, then from the objectives as well you can have your research question and then followed by the hypothesis. Okay, with the hypothesis is looking for the relationship for those uh, study that uh, examine the relationship between the variables. 
Okay, so the next, this is the also other steps shows um, the steps in uh, design your research topic from research topic until the research proposal. Okay, however, your research proposal, preparing research proposal, this one you will be, you will do it with your um, your own supervisor at the school level. Okay, so again, as in previous slides, first step, you have to select a broad area of interest. Basically, it is based on your research areas or your niche areas. Okay, uh, column number two is just a for example. Okay, you can read it by yourself to have uh, some ideas. Okay, if you can look the strategies for the first step until the final step, you have to read, read and read. Okay, reading, read abstracts of literature, read several articles, okay, and then read more focused and specialized articles. You can stop reading uh, throughout your research journey. Okay, next step is to move from topic to a manageable research problem. Basically, this is a type of questions that you may ask. Okay, in your uh, problem in your problem statement. Okay, basically or usually we use why, why, and how. Okay, so uh, from broad area, uh, you can narrowly define problem. Okay, so you can ask relevant questions that will help answer the problem. Okay, so during uh, your time in writing a problem statement. Okay, so. Uh, Make sure that your problem statement consisting of several sentences that briefly frame the issues to be investigated. As I mentioned, your problem statement must be a sum, uh, should be a summary of your next chapters. Okay, so uh, your problem statement, okay, as your work progresses, you may need to modify this problem statement. Okay, you can modify it time to time based on your findings or based on your research, based on what you find. Uh, once you have the results, so you can change it uh, time to time. Okay. So select possible research design. Research design will depend upon the discipline and actual statement of problem. Okay. So it should be developed in consultation with your supervisor. So your supervisor will guide you through. Okay. Okay, so as the conclusion, the formulation of research problem is the first and most important step of the research process. So once you have uh, formulated your research problem, so you know where you are and then you can track your progress well. Okay, so this is more like identifying a destination prior to beginning a journey. Okay, so a research problem is like the foundation of a building. So the type and architecture of the building depends on the foundations. If the foundation is well designed and strong, one can expect the building to be strong as well. Okay, so researcher must have a clear idea with regard to what it is that he wants to find out, but not what he thinks he must find. Okay, again, it must be related to previous uh, study, uh, what you're going to find, Okay, um, uh, and then how to solve the problem arises. Okay, uh, a research problem can begin with something simple to something very complex, depending on the nature of the research team and also depending of the field of the research. Okay, it's, it's not similar if you from economics background, education background. Okay, it's quite, it's half... Uh, it's have different, okay, different uh, in terms of methods, okay, in terms of uh, how you construct or how you write your thesis and so on. Okay, so I would suggest if you can download this uh, research methodology, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. So actually this one is for qualitative uh, study. But for those who are doing the uh, quantitative study, you also can refer, okay, because uh, it's stating a step by step, okay, start from chapter one until at the end. So you, you can uh, just download it from uh, Google, okay, if uh, it's useful for you, so just uh, 
look at it okay so at the end uh, please feel free to fill in the feedback form and then also we have provide the padlet here okay for you as a platform for especially for new students who just been registered uh, uh, for this uh, course okay so you can uh, you can create or you can have or you can look for a group members to have uh, to create a group for the assignment and also you we have added you in the webex team as well okay can you you can use either one which is padlet or webex teams okay to look for the for your group members uh, to complete your assignment for research methodology so if you have any inquiry about this class 5 for research problem please drop me an email at dyg hazelina at usm.my okay uh, i will try to reply it as soon as possible okay so that's all for uh, from me for class 5 research problem i'll see you again in the next class thank you